Hey friends, what's up? Happy Halloween. Before we jump into this tutorial, I just want to say that this look is inspired by Raw Beauty Christy here on YouTube. I will link her video down below in the description box, so be sure to check her out. She is amazing. And as you guys can see here, I prepped my skin with the Smashbox Hydrating Primer, and now I am going in with the Wet n Wild Foundation and the NYX Whiteout Foundation to make sure my, my skin is nice and pale. And now I'm setting my face with my Too Faced Just Peachy Translucent Powder. Now for the eyes, I'm going in with my Dark Matter uh, from the Milk Cosmetics and I am taking that all over both eyelids. I'm also dragging that down the nose for contour, so I'm taking it down both sides of the nose. And I'm also using my fingers to kind of smudge it out. Time to get out the lube. <laughs> I'm taking some aquifer, which most people use for their tattoos. But anyways, I'm taking it and smearing it on top of my eyelid because this is going to be the burned side of the face and I need that eye to be glossy. And now I'm using my e.l.f. blush palette and on the burn side of the face, I am just going to rub that all in with this brush because I want to create that red irritated skin on that side. And now I'm going to go in with some latex skin. It is my first time using this and I am applying it with my fingers. And let me just tell you, you don't need to rub a lot because I was rubbing a little bit too much and it started to ball up. And I'm sure you guys can see my facial expressions because it stank. It smelled like earth. And when it dry, it smelled like corn chips. It's disgusting. So once you have a thin layer applied on that side of the face, you want to let it dry. As you can see here, I'm using a blow dryer because I had a party to get to, but I am going to continue to let it dry on its own. So now we're going to go back into the other side of the face and we are going to contour the crap out of that side of the face and make sure everything is blended out nicely.
so my tears look wet like you know when you're crying and the mascara runs down I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24 7 liquid uh, matte liner and as you can see I'm just kind of using my fingers to help blend that uh, into the skin and down the face And to really add that extra witchy vibe, I am drawing a cross down my forehead. You can skip this part, but yeah. And I'm going to go in with my NYX gel liner and draw a very dark, angry-like brow. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara and one lash because the other side is the burn side of the face so you obviously wouldn't have a lash over there. So I did apply a second coat of the liquid latex just to make sure I had enough that it was built up enough because as you guys can see I am taking the end of a q-tip that doesn't have the cotton on it and I'm going in and kind of pulling that skin apart to create like blisters what it would look like if you got burned it'd be all blistery and like pussy so we're going in there with this q-tip and you don't want to have a super thin layer of liquid, liquid latex uh, for this part so after the first layer dries you want to go back in with another layer and let that dry Then once you have all the holes you would like, then we're going to go back in with this e.l.f. blush palette into that red and just blend that in so that it really looks very irritated underneath um, the skin. And then you want to get a uh, banana powder if you have one. I had, This is the HD Absolute, but Makeup Revolutions also has one. And as you guys can see, I started off with the Koki Cosmetics uh, Yellow Concealer, but it wasn't quite yellow enough. So I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild um, Paint Palette. I would really recommend using a yellow paint or a yellow shadow and then setting it with that banana powder.
And then you want to go in with some fake blood, whatever kind you have. And I'm using a Q-tip and going around those wounds. But I am blending it out with my finger. So a little bit of the fake blood will kind of be in the wounds too. You want to put it all over that entire area. And now we're going back in with the aquifer that we used earlier and just covering that side of the face to really give it that disgusting burnt blistery look. You can use Vaseline if you have it, but this is just what I had on hand. And now I'm going back in with the Urban Decay Liquid Liner and I'm drawing some symbols above the eyebrow um, just because it adds to the whole witchy vibe. And then I'm just taking my blending brush that I use for the black eyeshadow and just kind of smudging it out because it definitely wouldn't be perfect. I'm taking my Jeffree Star Weirdo Matte Black Liquid Lipstick and I am drawing lines on either side of the mouth because we're going to go in with thread to create the sewed mouth and I am darkening under the lip and on the center of the lips to create a very washed out um, pale lip. Now I am taking Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood and Weirdo and I'm going to draw some dots which are going to look like bloody holes um, before we lay down the thread. Then right over top of those dots, we're going to take some eyelash glue and you only want to do like one or two dots at a time. You don't want to do any more than that because eyelash glue does dry very quickly. And we're going to take some black thread and create the illusion that my mouth is stitched shut. As you can see, I'm working on the bottom portion of my lip first and then I'll go across the top because you don't actually want to uh, put the thread across your lips if you plan to talk or eat. Uh, for the rest of that night, you're going to want to just make it look like your mouth is sewn shut and take your time with this because it is very tedious. The thread gets stuck to your fingers. So just be patient and make sure you leave a lot of time to create this look if you plan to uh, recreate it. So after that, you just need to throw on your costume, pull up your hood, and that is the completed look. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on all social media, which is linked down below. Also, you guys, don't forget to put a smile on your face because it is truly the best makeup you can wear. And happy Halloween, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.